This show is brought to you by Millennium Tree Stands, Extreme Archery Products, and Ramcat Broadheads. Welcome to Reality Hunt Club. This webisode, we're planting our fall food plots. Stay tuned. As I said in the intro, we're up here planting our fall food plots. Now, last weekend I came up here and I mowed for about 12 hours and we cut them down. We're going to actually plant about seven to eight acres of food plots. And that's about 12 to 13 spots, different food plots. Let me show you what we did. And what we do is, like I said, last weekend we mowed. And then we went to the local farmer and we bought six drums of oats. Okay, so each drum, I think we pay, we pay $40 for each drum. And since we're planting this for the deer, you know, it's gonna work out good. Plus we can overseed and we're gonna guarantee we're gonna have good food plots. So Chuck's out there right now, if I don't trip over this bush, Chuck's out there right now, he's hairing it up. And when he gets through hairing it up, we're gonna put this red hopper on there. I got in the back of the truck. And then I'm gonna follow him around in the truck and when he runs out of oats spreading on these food plots, we'll fill them up again. And that's the way we're gonna do it. We'll go, we'll go from food plot to food plot as we work it out and go back and forth, try to be as logistic friendly as possible. Um, you know, just try not to bore you. Tractor work's kind of boring to watch on video. So um, I just wanted to tell you though, I think this is a good way of buying your oats really inexpensively. You know, it could be $35, $40 a bag for processed oats to plant. And since we're not processing them, you know, we're not going to sell them. You know, nobody, the law is not going to come get us or anything like that. And plus, we can overseed it. And the guy's real happy to sell it to us. And so a lot of people here in Georgia actually do this process. So stay tuned. We'll show you some more tractor work as we spread it, cover it, and everything else. And then I'll come back at the end and I'll wrap it up. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm sitting here in the truck waiting for Chuck to come. I kind of got ahead of him a little bit because he said he got enough oats in the back of the red hopper to um, kind of go into the next food plot. So I thought I'd wrap this up. Um, so basically, like I said, we mowed, we bought the oats from the farmer, you know, you know, 40 bucks a barrel. The oats they just picked out of the field. And we haired up, of course, and then we spread the oats with the red hopper and now um, after we get through with the red hopper, it's real gray right now. It's actually trying to rain. After we get through with the red hopper, we're going to put the hairs back on and we're going to go back over it, just tickle it a little bit, just kind of make sure we got good soil to seed contact, just cover it up a little bit. And then we should have, you know, add water, add a couple inches of water. We should have, um, we should have oats, you know, good oats food plots in the next couple weeks. 
Now, today is October 1st, you know, October 1st weekend, so we've got about 20, 22 days before opening gun season. So if Mother Nature helps us out with some rain, then we'll be good to go. Now, I know some people out there are going to say, we buy buck forage oats, or we buy this name brand oats, and we do this. Well, be honest with you, we bought those types too, and we put them next to each other. We bought a bag of oats out of a field, and we bought a bag of the expensive stuff from the feed store or out of one of the box stores. And to be honest, we um, we couldn't tell a difference. Now, I know somebody's going to email me, send me a comment or something like that, but I don't know. I just, I just hadn't been proven wrong. I guess we could be. Now, YouTube's got this new feature I want to try out in this video. It gives me an opportunity to stop the video and poll you, the viewer, a question. So the question is, is do you think that using oats out of a field versus oats um, from the from you know that's been prepared and put in a bag which one do you think is going to be better do you think the oats from the field or you think oats from the feed store you know where they process it and treat it and all that stuff so i'm gonna stop the video right now hopefully this is going to work it's beta with youtube and we'll see if it works so let's see right here all right i'm back now i actually had another option would be you could not tell the difference between the two after I was thinking about it for a minute. So I needed to add that other option. So this is how we do ours. It's not necessarily saying it's the right way. It just works for us. It works for our budget. Um, buying it out of the field is a lot cheaper. But um, leave us your comments. Tell me how you guys do it. Come on, interact with us. Um, this is supposed to be a social media type site. Come on, interact. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you think we're doing wrong, what we're doing right. Maybe we um, gave you an idea of how to do something with your food plots or something with your hunting club. So just give us some feedback. And stay tuned. we got a lot more webisodes coming. Deer hunting is just now getting going. we got one coming up on bow hunting. And we'll see how these oats are. And hopefully we'll be smacking some big bucks down and some, some, big, some big good eating does in front of these food plots. And you'll see them coming up as we're videoing there. So stay tuned and thanks for watching Reality Hunt Club. If you like this show, check out our other shows at Hunt365.tv.